Why am I always standing over here next to this lamp? Well, to tell you the truth, the reason is because this lamp is next to the window. Hello everybody, Judah here with Judah Creative. Today's time lapse is me drawing a gangster. This will be one of a, a two-part video. The next time you watch, I will be in Photoshop. Yeah, so let's do this. So I was reminded the importance of doing a good pencil drawing underneath your inking. Uh, I was kind of in a hurry. I was thinking I knew exactly what I wanted. I envisioned the uh, character in my head as I began to draw. This is the uh, second version of this character. So I was going to do more detail than I did last time. And uh, so yeah, I rushed into it and um, the proportions of his shoulders and the stance is just a little bit off. Um, which is okay because this is still just uh, me kind of playing around. So. One of the things that I like about this version of the character is that the hair is almost turned into like a weapon. It's like tied at the top and uh, it's almost like these blades. You can imagine him like swinging those bad boys around in conjunction with his sword play. Hands are one of those things that are notoriously difficult to draw. Uh, in this instance I actually had um, some reference photos I was looking at to kind of help me through here. but. If you run into that problem, I would highly recommend getting reference photos before you start drawing. If you're learning how to draw, it's worth noting that I'm not using the same pen for this entire illustration. I'm actually bouncing around in between three different pens. I have one I do for finer detail, one that's kind of in the middle as far as thickness, and then I use a Sharpie marker to fill in the really black shapes. As far as the shading and the values go, you'll notice like his right leg is totally black at this point, whereas his upper right shoulder is not. It's still kind of shaded. Uh, sometimes I do that, uh, kind of progressively layer on um, the shading, you know, working it up to a darker and darker value, because that leaves my options open. If I decide I want to leave a couple of glints of lights or highlights or bounce lighting or something like that that would indicate the shape of his armor or a weapon or something of that nature, I could do that. You'll actually notice that later on I completely darken in his uh, right shoulder. So yeah, if you plan it out right, you could actually just go ahead and ink that in dark ahead of time. Um, but sometimes you discover those things as you draw. And so it's worth you know, playing around with. Yeah, so I'm not very satisfied with the way his shoulders turned out, so I guess in the next episode when I get into Photoshop, we'll see if I can uh, do something about that. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Do an artist a favor. If you like this video, post a comment or like or share or something. That way YouTube knows this video is